North Carolinians are a people who do not worship the past, who do not live in the past, but who derive strength and direction for the years ahead by knowing about our successes and failures of the past. North Carolinians look ahead, but we know that the decisions of the present and the paths for tomorrow lead from the past and that without a knowledge of our history, we cannot know where we are or where we need to go. These are the words of Governor Robert Scott as he dedicated the State Archives Building in 1969. I'm Sarah Kuntz and it is my pleasure to serve as your State Archivist. I welcome you to the State Archives of North Carolina. Located at 109 East Jones Street in Raleigh, you will find us between the General Assembly Building and the Executive Mansion and just across the street from the North Carolina Museum of History. We're fortunate to have two satellite facilities on either end of the state. The Outer Banks History Center, located in Manio, and the Western Regional Archives is in Asheville. Both regional collections focus on the history and culture of their respective areas of the state. The State Archives has deep roots in North Carolina. We are the third oldest state archival program in the country, with our origins dating back to the formal creation of the North Carolina Historical Commission in 1903. We are proud that the first archivist of the United States, R.D.W. Connor, was a native son and founding member of the commission. Though state and local governments have grown and changed over the centuries, document formats have evolved, and North Carolina's population has diversified, the mission of the State Archives remains the same. Records matter. Access to them is a fundamental right in any democracy. So we collect, preserve, manage, and provide access to information that protects our citizen rights, documents our history and culture, promotes transparency, and encourages stewardship of government records. We are pleased to hold this documentary heritage and trust for you and all future generations. We want you to be a part of the State Archives through a visit, a tour, use of our online resources, or a donation of a collection. Also, we want to help you with your exploration of our state's history, whether your interest is legal, historical, genealogical, or you're writing a book or researching a school project. From the Carolina Charter of 1663 to a modern map contained in geospatial data files, the State Archives has a vast collection documenting the lives of citizens as they intersect with government, as well as private materials, such as diaries, photographs, oral histories, and other records that supplement and complement the government records in our collections. We have records of priceless value to the state, such as our original Bill of Rights, recovered 140 years after it was stolen from the state capitol, to letters from soldiers engaged in a battle. Every item in our collections tells stories, large and small, stories that together become part of the fabric of our shared histories. Some records document essential human rights and the need for such documentation. Few papers could be more valuable to a young man of color in the 1830s than an affidavit authorizing George Curry as a free man. George Curry appeared in court in Guilford County in 1837 to, quote, have a record made as to his freedom, unquote. During the state's World War 100th anniversary commemorations, I had worked to put as many of our World War I photographs online as possible with complete descriptions for the first time. In 2017, a man named Arthur Kenneth Hardy uh, left a comment on the photograph of a Halifax County World War I veteran's portrait. The soldier was Arthur Hardy of Enfield, North Carolina. The guy stated that this was his father, and it was the first time he'd ever seen this photograph of his father in uniform. The reason for this was because the photograph had been donated to the State Archives in 1920, and had previously only been able to be used in-house at the State Archives search room. We invited the son to come look at this original photograph, and it was great to know that something saved for this long finally found the son, and that there was a son of a World War I veteran still around to be able to see it. At the State Archives of North Carolina, we believe that history should be for all the people, and we want to tell the story of all North Carolinians. Many of our records come from government resources, but we also collect a variety of documentary materials that tell deeper stories, rich stories, stories of everyday North Carolinians and their lives. We collect family letters and diaries, photographs and movies, military records, audiovisual materials, organizational records, and oral histories that document North Carolina history and culture. We want to connect with you. We encourage you to use our online resources. Visit the search room or schedule a tour. As the director of the Department of Archives and History stated over 55 years ago, North Carolina indeed has a great history. It is our duty and will be our major objective to make that history known, understood, and appreciated by all the citizens of our state and by the people of our country.
please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more content.